Hello and welcome back to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through some of the biggest headlines in entertainment and pop culture. I'm Zoe and today, well, I'm not going to bury the lead, you guys. Taylor Swift is going to the Super Bowl. Oh, and also the Kansas City Chiefs are going too. But most importantly, Taylor Swift. Let's get into it because Taylor Swift in her very first season in the NFL makes it to the Super Bowl, that's pretty impressive. Not a lot of other people can say that. Where to begin? Well, I guess with the obvious. The Chiefs went to Baltimore, played the Ravens this weekend, and won. The Chiefs went to Baltimore as the underdogs, did what a lot of people thought they wouldn't be able to do, win the AFC, make it back to the Super Bowl, their fourth Super Bowl in five years, which is an insane stat. Now, as I mentioned in one of our first videos, I'm a Chiefs fan. I'm from Kansas City. <laughs> I'm extremely biased. I've been a Chiefs fan my entire life. So it's very easy for me, obviously, as a lifelong Chiefs fan, to be very excited about this Super Bowl, to be going back for a fourth time in five years as a Swifty to see Taylor Swift go to the Super Bowl, cheering on the Chiefs. It's all just too much. Honestly, after this weekend in my family group chat, my cousin texted me and said, we are living in Zoe's simulation. And honestly, like, I don't know if I believe in simulation. I think there's some people out there who feel like Maybe we're all living in someone's simulation, but after this weekend, I, I, could be, I could be convinced that we are living in my simulation because the fact that this is happening, if, if you would have told me earlier on this year, let's, let's take it back to beginning of the season when the Chiefs lost to the Lions in the very first game of the season. And you said to me, not only will the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl again, but Taylor Swift will have gone to, up until that point, 12 Chiefs games cheering on her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. I would have said, excuse me, what? The Super Bowl part wouldn't have surprised me so much, but the Taylor Swift stuff, wow. That, that would have genuinely shocked me. Okay, so the Chiefs go to Baltimore. They win 17 to 10. And I think we need to circle back just before we get into the tailor of it all. Four Super Bowls in five years for Patrick Mahomes. And I know that's annoying. And if you're watching this and you're not a Chiefs fan or you're not a Taylor Swift fan, or maybe, you know, you have a team that you're a fan of and you, you feel very passionately about, I 100% understand if you're tired of the Chiefs narrative. I get it. Because for many, many, many years, the team I hated the most was the Patriots. And you know why I hated them so much? Because they won all the time. And I hated that about them. And if I think back on it now, I didn't really hate them for any other reason other than the fact they ripped my heart out every single season. I still cannot talk about the 2018 AFC Championship game. That was, that was brutal. That was really, really brutal. So, I get it. I get it. I understand it. I understand. I understand people's pain. But again, as a Chiefs fan, as a Swifty, I'm psyched. Okay, Taylor was in Baltimore with her with her friends. Not a surprise to see her there again. You know, Travis's family was there. His friends, all back, ready to cheer on Travis and the Chiefs. Okay, the camera cut to Taylor a handful of times, not that much to be honest. And the reason for that was because the Chiefs in the second half, they didn't even score any points. So not really a shock that they that they didn't show her during that second half period, but they did cut to her after Travis's opening touchdown drive. Amazing catch, by the way. So that was fun. But when the Chiefs ended up winning, you know, for those who maybe aren't familiar with, with football, obviously you saw this weekend, there's a big ceremony that happens on the field to award the champion, hand over the Lamar Hunt trophy, celebrate, whatever. 
And this is a time when friends and family people that have access get to go on the field and congratulate the players and, and whatnot. Typically, you know, parents, significant others. And to be honest with you, I didn't really think about it. I didn't really think about, oh, will Taylor Swift go on the field if the Chiefs win? I didn't, it didn't really cross my mind, mostly because she hasn't been sideline on, on the sideline at all this season. You know, th there's another thing where you can go to the, if you have a field pass, you can go on the field before the game starts and like congratulate your player if it's your, you know, again, significant other or your son or your friend or whatever. Um, and Taylor hasn't done that at all this season. So it just, it just wasn't in my mind. And I don't know why it, why it wasn't, but it, it just, it just wasn't. And then all of a sudden the camera cuts and there is Travis Kelsey embracing Taylor Swift, kissing Taylor Swift. I was, I was shocked and I was, I, I was watching the game with my parents. They were all shocked. They couldn't believe it. It was like a movie. And I've said this before. It's like a fan fiction that's been brought to life. And it's, it's true. Actually, I did see a lot of people on Instagram, Twitter, comparing um, Taylor and Travis, uh, you know, hugging on the field to a Cinderella story. This is for all my millennial women out there. You know what I'm talking about. The scene when Chad Michael Murray's character uh, and Hilary Duff embrace um when the rain is falling down you know what i'm talking about um it, it was just almost too much for me and my brain to comprehend seeing travis and taylor there together i also wonder what her security was thinking because she had a lot of people around her obviously protecting her um when she was like yeah no guys i i'm gonna go on the field if if the chiefs win like i'm 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 gonna go down there uh i bet they were like Ugh, crap this is going to be a lot of work because she had like six or seven people surrounding her, which again, makes sense. She's the most famous person on that field, which is just the truth. Um, but it was just amazing. Taylor was there like embracing Travis's dad. She was hugging Travis's mom. There was an iconic moment of Taylor pointing to the stage to Andy Reid, who was pointing back at her. Like again, simulation. Andy Reid and Taylor Swift having a moment. Who would have who would have ever thought that could be even remotely possible? It was just, it was amazing. And Taylor, I felt like, did such a great job of like, she had her moment with Travis, but then obviously gave him his space to have this moment with his parents and with his brother. Jason was there. And, you know, it's an overwhelming experience, right? You've just made it to the Super Bowl. It's emotions are high. It's claustrophobic. Lots of people running around. And I feel like, this may sound obvious or I don't know, but like she does such a great job of giving him his his space and his moment to like really be the star and, and to really shine. Uh, I think they both do that for each other really, really beautifully and like celebrate each other very, very well. And it's just, it's just, it just warms my heart. Um, I also have to just quickly mention, because there was a couple shots of Taylor's jewelry that, that she was wearing, because she wasn't in any sort of like obvious chief skier. She was just wearing a plain red sweater. Um, but she did have a tennis bracelet, diamond encrusted tennis bracelet, friendship bracelet, but it was with diamonds that said TNT, which stands for obviously Travis and Taylor. Uh, and that was actually rumored to have been a thing a few months ago. There were some rumors going around that Travis had custom ordered this diamond encrusted friendship bracelet for Taylor that said TNT. But it was, you know, we, we could see it in the photos that she was wearing it. She also was wearing a Chiefs pendant, gold pendant, which was which was cute. Um, and she had on this ring. It was like a Travis jersey, 87 jersey ring on her finger. So she was she was giving subtle nods to to Travis to the Chiefs with her accessories which I loved. Um okay, and then the the biggest question obviously is will Taylor Swift be able to make it to the Super Bowl because she's going back on tour, she's ramping up again, starting off kicking it off in Tokyo. And the short answer is yes, she will be able to make it back. So Taylor plays her last show in Japan on Saturday, February 10th. Super Bowl, obviously, Sunday, February 11th. 
But because Tokyo is in the future, essentially, Taylor's concert in Tokyo will end around 10 or 11 Tokyo time, which will be 5 or 6 a.m. Las Vegas time on Saturday, February 10th. So the flight takes about 12 hours, give or take, you know, she's got to get to the airport, yada, yada, yada. But she could easily land in Las Vegas the evening of Saturday, February 10th, and in time for dinner if she wanted to, with plenty of time to make it to see the Chiefs play Sunday afternoon in Las Vegas. So fret not, Swifties out there. She, if she, if she wants to make it, she can. And we know Taylor has all the means at her disposal in terms of travel, right? She, she's not going to be taking like a commercial flight uh, on Delta to get to Las Vegas. So um, she could just waltz off the stage into a car, get to the airport, get on a plane, take a nice rest and wake up in Las Vegas, which um, I mean, for me, it sounds like a lot of travel, but she can, she can make it. And, and it's just crazy to me that for so long, the NFL has been trying to get Taylor Swift to go to the Super Bowl to perform at the halftime show. And now she will be there, but to support her boyfriend and the Chiefs, which honestly, I would love to see Taylor perform the halftime show at, at some point. But I think I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, this is a rematch. Chiefs first 49ers, a rematch of the 2020 Super Bowl that the Chiefs won. So again, because I'm biased, I'm hoping history repeats itself. I would love to see the Chiefs get another ring. Patrick Mahomes get his third Super Bowl ring and Taylor Swift getting her first ring. Um, just all around great weekend. Can't wait for the big game in a couple of weeks. It's going to be great. Would love to know what you guys thought of the Taylor Travis on-field kiss, everything that happened um, post-game, post what you think she might wear to the Super Bowl, all those things. Um, all right, guys, that's it for today. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.